What's up, people? It's your boy Focus on Beats from FocusMusic.com, and today we got another video. It is Friday. I'd be so glad to see y'all, man. I'd be so glad to see you here every Friday. <laughs> but anyway, man. So today I got a, uh, I got a request, man, um, from uh, someone that hit my YouTube page up, man. He was on my very last video. Uh, so I'm gonna give a big shout out to his, uh, to his channel, Well Known Tone Beats, man, shout out to Well Known Tone Beats, man, he was asking, um, how to do glides in Studio One for 808s, so I'm gonna do a video of that today, um, so, um, now I'm not using 808s, but it will be the same exact concept. Um, so you just follow the same thing. So what I have here is a beat I was working on a couple weeks ago and I'm trying to finish it. I have an artist that I'm sending it to and I'm trying to get it finished. Just trying to make some last minute changes on it before I finish the beat completely and send it out. So, um, so here's what I have. All right, so that's the beat. I mean, the bass line is just simple. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do, I want from here to, to there, I want it to pitch, I want it to glide down, right? So I'm gonna use pitch bend. And I'm going to not have mine set up to one, I think. Something. One of them is a pencil. I can't remember which one it is. Whichever one it is. And what I want to do is that I want to. Where's the pencil? There it is. I want to start at zero in pitch bend. And so now, go back to one. Well, go back to the arrow. <laughs> And I'm gonna start from here to here. Now, I want to create another one. That way I don't mess with anything over here or anything over here. And I'm just gonna, I want it to go down. So let's see what it sounds like from here. All right, so now it's, it's gliding down. So it, it feels a little bit more uh, natural, it, like if I had an actual bass, if I'm playing an actual bass, it'll sound more like that. Right? So it drops off and then it comes back up. And then, so when I take that, go ahead and bounce that like so. It's gonna be my sub bass. And you gave me the idea for it too, man. So. And so it would build up like that. So now if I wanted to, if I wanted to, maybe I wanna take it up at the end to go back to, uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's see here. So I'm going to, from here, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna take from here to here, and I'm gonna take this ending up like that. So, so it'll be more uh, going back to the next, cause this is gonna loop. So um, going back into the bass again, it would sound like that. You can't really hear it, but let's see here. Um, maybe I can pull it back. Let's see. Well, that's the perfect spot. I guess, I guess when I bounce it, you'll be able to hear it. But let me do it without the music. So 
you see how it goes back up so that's what I want to do with it so when I bounce it out uh, pull it up just a little bit yeah so it fits it goes for the song goes for the vibe I wanted an actual natural bass sound or bass feel. And so that's what I would do in a situation like that. So, all right. Shout out again to my boy, uh, well-known Tone Beats. There you go, my brother. Welcome to the Personas world. And this is how Studio One go. And I'll show you this, man. Any kind of animation that you want to do or... Um, or anything that you want to do, Studio One, man, hit me up again. If anybody out there have any questions about Studio One, just hit me up in the in the comment section, man. Share, like it, comment it, you know, subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll go from there, man. So, y'all have a good day.